A one-minute reading of on-chain data giving you a grasp of the global crypto dynamics in the past 24 hours. After dancing above 70,000 for nearly two days, Bitcoin has retreated back to 69,000 stage. Bitcoin's layer two ecosystem and NFT market are warming up, and the miners' transaction fee income has doubled. El Salvador is generously repurchasing foreign debt, drawing global attention with the power of Bitcoin. Unable to withstand pressure from various party, Worldcoin allows users to permanently delete iris data. Approved for a passage permit in Dubai, the token of Crypto.com surges. Following Binance and OKX, Crypto.com announces its settlement in Dubai. Following the footsteps of MicroStrategy, Japan's Meta Planet buys a large amount of Bitcoin. Investing nearly 6.6 .6 million in Bitcoin, Meta Planet's stock price skyrockets 89%. Remeasuring the world with cryptocurrency, grasping the 24-hour wealth code, and getting rich slowly together. On April 10th, Wednesday is the highest crypto industry. I'm Zhu. Welcome to the headline sponsored by Deepcoin. Bitcoin was on 70,000 stage for nearly two days, and today it has fallen back to 69,000 US dollar. Since March, the data on profitable addresses has shown a clear gap with the price of Bitcoin. When Bitcoin rises, the upward trend of profitable addresses is weaker than the price fluctuation. However, when it falls, it clearly exceeds the downward trend of Bitcoin, which also indicates that the cost of short-term investors in the market is rising. As long as Bitcoin drops slightly, the number of profitable addresses will drop significantly. This is a risk point, but also a confidence point. The risk is that if Bitcoin undergoes a significant correction. It will trigger high-level positions. The confidence point is that the constantly changing holding costs push up the holding sentiment in the market. Through the MVRV ratio between market value and actual value, let's see if your holding profits are shrinking. When the MVRV value exceeds 3.7, it means that the market's fair valuation is too high, and the market premium is too much. So you should consider selling the Bitcoin you hold. When the MVRV value is less than one, it means that the market valuation is underestimated, and you can appropriately buy. Currently, the MVRV value is 2.4, still in a relatively high valuation stage. However, the MVRV ratio has declined significantly in the past month, which is good for the market because the low price positions held by early investors are beginning to change hands. And the fair value and cost in the market are rising. Recently, Bitcoin has been difficult to break through $72,000 US dollar, mainly because the accumulation of positions is not stable enough. When the price of Bitcoin drops, the high position accumulation will decrease accordingly. Only when the position accumulation is sufficient enough will the market form a strong consensus. Otherwise, everyone will just be shouting without getting into the market. And the market will continue to fluctuate. In the past week, although Bitcoin has retreated and then rebounded slightly, the miners have not panicked and sold. So the miners' reserve balance has remained basically stable. However, with the approaching of the Bitcoin halving, miners will face a short-term drop in output revenue after the halving. And as low-cost Bitcoin producers, the miners' holding confidence is relatively stable. If Bitcoin drops and corrects. They will actually hoard and wait for it to rise. In the past two days, the Bitcoin Layer Two ecosystem and the NFT market have started to bloom again, and the miners' fee income has risen from 24 bitcoins to 47 bitcoins, directly doubling. And there is still a clear upward trend. Investors can pay more attention to the Bitcoin ecosystem and the NFT market, which is an opportunity for miners' excess earnings, and also a good opportunity for investors. To access new hotspots and create welfare effects, in the heart of Central America, there is a country that's writing a new financial legend with cryptocurrency. That is El Salvador. Under the leadership of Nayib Bukele, this small country has bravely adopted Bitcoin as a legal tender, attracting global attention and discussion. Looking back, El Salvador has been repeatedly warned by the International Monetary Fund (IMF) due to debt risk. However, the new El Salvador has undergone a profound transformation and become a staunch supporter of Bitcoin. Nayib Bukele not only sees Bitcoin as the future of the country, but also personally participates in daily Bitcoin investment, becoming a role model for global Bitcoin investors. Being the first country adopting Bitcoin as a legal tender, 
it's it's a good thing for for our country. And if you add up the the practical reasons, right, like uh, receiving remittances with uh, at the speed of light and having uh, almost no costs, like you would have uh, with Western Union and those those types of systems, having financial inclusion to seventy percent of the people that don't own, that doesn't own bank accounts, having a, a lot of investment in tourism that would come up uh, come from this, and not in. Uh, not becoming independent because we're not, but at least becoming a little less dependent on the output of new dollars and the new inflation that's coming with those dollars, those new dollars. We don't perceive any of that. With profits from the rise in Bitcoin, President Nayib Bukele not only recently showcased its wallet balance, but also referred to it as the first Bitcoin piggy bank. However, El Salvador has officially launched a tender offer for external debt maturing from 2025 to 2029, inviting bondholders to submit valid bid plans by April 15th and settling by April 19th. It is reported that El Salvador has accumulated 5,714 bitcoins worth up to $400 million. In the heart of Central America, there is a country that's writing a new financial legend with cryptocurrency. That is El Salvador. Under the leadership of Nayib Bukele, this small country has bravely adopted Bitcoin's legal tender, attracting global attention and discussion. Looking back, El Salvador has been repeatedly warned by the International Monetary Fund (IMF) due to debt risk. However, the new El Salvador has undergone a profound transformation and become a staunch supporter of Bitcoin. Nay Bukele not only sees Bitcoin as the future of the country, but also personally participates in daily Bitcoin investment, becoming a role model for global Bitcoin investors. We know that Worldcoin has always been the focus of attention for its unique identity verification method, iris scanning. By scanning the iris characteristics of individuals, Worldcoin provides users with a secure and convenient identity verification method, aiming to achieve the grand goal of universal basic income. Since the summer of 2023, Worldcoin has opened its Orb Iris verification service to people in North America, Europe, the Middle East, Asia, and other regions for the first time. However, with the surge of the project, concerns about Iris data privacy have also been increasing. Even the Hong Kong government once conducted a major raid on six Worldcoin sites, revealing the huge privacy risks. Worldcoin recently announced a new initiative allowing users to voluntarily choose to permanently delete iris codes created through iris scanning. However, if Worldcoin indeed opens up the option for users to delete iris information, it may lose the mechanism ensuring one person can only verify once. Nevertheless, Worldcoin seems unconcerned about this. They stated that although allowing users to delete iris data, it will not affect the overall operation and fairness of the project. As for specific solutions and measures, the officials did not provide detailed explanations. There were many things that we thought about and, and tried, but nothing that we found that would scale to, or that we could see how it would scale to, to billions of people in a fraud-resistant and like secure manner. And the only thing that was left was kind of what the what a fundamental part of uh, like any person is that you can measure is biometrics. However, despite Worldcoin's efforts in privacy protection, the price of its token WLD has not performed well. After reaching a historical high, the price of WLD has plummeted, dropping 45% in the past month. This downward trend not only makes investors nervous, but also raises uncertainties about Worldcoin's future. So, is Worldcoin's latest move a boon or a bane? Can it maintain the fairness and credibility of the project while protecting user privacy? And where will the price of the WLD token go? All this remains to be tested by time and the market. As the first economic entity to establish a dedicated regulatory agency for virtual assets, Dubai has been working hard to build a strictly supportive crypto regulatory environment. In March 2022, the Dubai Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority VARA was established, responsible for regulating and supervising companies providing crypto services in various regions of the UAE. In 2023, 
VARA issued 2023 virtual asset and related activities regulations, stipulating that companies wishing to engage in cryptocurrency business in Dubai must obtain a VARA operating license. Binance was the first crypto exchange to obtain the MVP operating license globally. In January this year, OKX also obtained a license from VARA, although it is still in a non-operational state. Recently, the crypto exchange Crypto.com has also officially settled in Dubai. Following the authorization from the UK Electronic Money Institution at the end of last year, cryptocurrency exchange Crypto.com announced that its Dubai entity has received comprehensive operating approval from VARA. Crypto.com plans to launch more products in the coming months, including the Crypto.com app and other retail-focused products. Meanwhile, Crypto.com's Dubai entity is introducing the Crypto.com exchange for institutional investors, catering for selected markets with spot trading, staking brokerage, and other over-the-counter trading products for institutional clients and qualified retail investors. And I think it will, it will benefit the entire industry if everybody is less tribal and you know looking at you know I support this project or this project is competing with that project and try to think in terms of how can we broaden the size of the entire ecosystem. Crypto.com is a cryptocurrency exchange company headquartered in Singapore. According to reports, as of June 2023, the company has 80 million customers and 4,000 employees. The exchange has issued its own trading token called Kronos CRO. After Crypto.com's approval, CRO has performed strongly, rising 48% in the past few weeks and 20.7% in the past week, with the price reaching 0.09. In addition to Crypto.com, the cryptocurrency exchange Bybit has also submitted an application for approval from the Dubai Virtual Assets Regulatory Authority. And the Dubai Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority has currently issued 21 VASP licenses. We know that MicroStrategy, a Bitcoin whale among U.S. listed companies, has announced it since 2020s that it will continue to invest in Bitcoin. As of the time of writing, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin holdings have reached 214,246 coins, with a total value of, of approximately 15.171 billion and an account gain of 7.647 billion. Against the backdrop, Bitcoin's rise to stock prices also tripled, rising more than 360% over the past year. Additionally, as a staunch believer in Bitcoin, MicroStrategy's founder Michael Saylor has been constantly selling the company's stocks to increase his Bitcoin holdings and has repeatedly stated that he may never sell his Bitcoin. This heroic spirit has also attracted many people outside the circle, among whom the Japanese Web3 infrastructure provider MetaPlanet stands out the most. Originally an economy hotel operator, Meta Planet has recently ventured into the metaverse and Web3 fields in its quest for new business dynamics. The company stated that it will increase its holdings of Bitcoin on the balance sheet, worth up to 1 billion yen. This decision stems from the negative impact of Japan's nearly 20 years of low interest rate environment on yen. Following the announcement, Meta Planet's stock price skyrocketed an astonishing 89.47% on Tuesday, becoming a dark horse on the stock market that day. As soon as Meta Planet announced that it would increase the Bitcoin holdings, investors flocked in, causing stock price to keep rising. What does this prove? It proves that Bitcoin also has value in the eyes of the Japanese people. It has to be said that embracing Bitcoins is embracing the hearts of the people. Now. MetaPlanet seems to be following in the footsteps of MicroStrategy, becoming a new force in the field of Bitcoin investment. This inevitably makes one curious, will MetaPlanet become the second MicroStrategy, even leading more companies around the world to join the ranks of Bitcoin investment? I think this is not a question. According to data, there are currently a total of 1,266,936,925 PIVE tokens staked, with a total staked value of 1,034,228,484 dollars. The number of PIVE stakers has reached 167,514. Following Bitcoin's historic high above $73,000 in March, profit realization for long-term holders is slowing down. It's reported that profit realization typically occurs among long-term holders as prices approach historic highs, 
but it has been cooling off in recent weeks. Web3 infrastructure company MoonPay has announced a partnership with Base on the X platform. MoonPay can now be used in the Base ecosystem's markets, including OpenSea. The Solana-based real estate marketplace Parkle announced on the X platform that the final leaderboard for the Points Trilogy has been released. The initial PRCL distribution snapshot was taken on April 1st. The final royalty snapshot was taken on April 8th. According to on-chain data monitoring around 4.47 Beijing time today, 22,837 Ethereum worth approximately $80,336,105 was transferred from an unknown wallet to Coinbase. It's the bold who do business. As the saying goes, seek riches in the peril and returns are proportional to risk. Your courage determines your wealth. Many people only dare to think but not to act. Because they fear failure, those who are afraid of both wolves and tigers can't take any real action. Look at those successful people. Which of them didn't firmly grasp even the slightest opportunity they found? Because if you don't take action, you will never get any results. Okay, these were the main contents of today's program. If you think our channel is valuable, feel free to share, follow, and become our member. You can check out our member benefits by clicking the top right corner. Our channel focuses on curating valuable news in the crypto circle, industry, and mining industry. From Monday to Friday, we provide news information, and on weekends, we have in-depth special reports. You can get our wealth code from Monday to Friday, as well as industry articles from our special authors. Let's get rich together. Slowly, see you tomorrow.